Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have seen the introduction of this note, DOM nodes. So what are the DOM nodes and how, how they are created? So we have seen it. Now in this video, let's try to see about the how we can see in the dev tools. So for example, in the browser, if I want to see those all text node, these are all the things I have shown you, right? The empty spaces and also the enter, the return, these all the lines are created as a DOM nodes I have told you. So how can we see in the browser these all the nodes so whether really these are created in the DOM uh, in the browser or not let's try to see it in this one so for example i am here i am creating a new file that is nothing but notes.html so notes.html let's go into this one i am taking a small html so i will take little small thing only so html here i will be writing head notes introduction so this is the html we have written it right so let's try to see whether the text the what are the nodes created for this one so if i try to open this nodes.h where is this nodes oh where this one is gone yeah if i try to open with the live server here we are able to see it right nodes introduction so why this one is showing i'm able to see head nodes.html i don't know why i'm able to see that one nodes introduction this is in the head only right we should not see anything so why am i able to see let's try to see in this one inspect in the okay in the body it went actually oh uh, i don't know why it went to the body let's try to have doc type html doc type html okay if i try to see the output and also we are able to see or otherwise what i will try to do is instead of having so i will try to have html5 okay and in this one i will do notes introduction okay okay in the head directly i have added that one right so so that is a problem so html i have used it so head we will be having okay in this one in the head we need to have a title tag so this is like this we need to write it so that one is my mistake so i was i was confused so first of all we are writing without uh, boilerplate template right so there is a reason we are confused okay fine so we will not often write this all code so now we are not able to see any code but here in this one in the these are all the script files created by the live server so there is no need to bother about this one in the head we are able to have a title notes introduction so for example if i want to capture this one so if i want to capture that head element so how can i capture that head element we know that document so the document is the main thing get elements by tag name so now i need to give the tag name head we are able to get an html collection okay in this html collection we have only one node that is nothing but a head node so this is the head node we are having only one node so but we have seen in the head okay so we have seen there are so many nodes will be created in this one right so there are so many nodes so will be created in this one so we have seen it so <coughs> like text these are all the things we have seen it so in order to view these all the things in the dev tools in this age in this head node you will be having an option in this one that is nothing but child nodes you'll be able to see this child nodes so here you'll be able to find all the node list you are having so let's try to capture this one so whenever you want to find the node list whenever you want to have all the child nodes for that one means you need to have an element node not an html collection so let's try to capture this element node so that means head of zero oh sorry we haven't had it right so let head is equal to document dot get elements by tag name of head so we got the we got the head let's press enter now if i try to press enter head html collection we are able to have so first we need to we need to check the child nodes what are the child nodes are uh, there in the head head attack so if you want to see the child nodes we need to have an element node so for the element node we can know head of zero dot child nodes so we need to type child nodes now you will be able to see all the nodes that are available in this one 
right so we are able to see text title text comment text script these are all comment and all those things are created by the live server so if you try to see in the elements so here in the head element you, these are all created by this one in the head you will be able to see this comment code injected by the live server so there is no need to bother about this one so we are able to have first one is the text so as already told you right in the text so that means here after the head so here we are having some uh, empty space right so let's try to see whether that empty space is created or not here in the text so if you want to see the data so here you will be able to see this slash n means the written carriage written and also the white space so this is the data and in this one again the node list is not having i told you right nodes can have in turn another nodes with this one so now the text doesn't have anything and the title so this is the title element so this is the title element if you try to see this is the title element in this title element if you try to open so here you will be able to see all the things okay so we are able to see all the things here and here if you want to see the title and uh, sorry in the in the thing here you will be having again a child notes okay in this child notes you have a text node so this is a title node inside this text node you will be having nodes introduction so like this you will be having so title node in return have a text node in the in the text node you will have this nodes introduction so i think you are able to follow my what i am trying to tell you so here in this title node this is a title node you go here this is a title node in the in return in this title node you are having another text node with the text value like this so that is what i want to explain you after completing the title node you are again you will be having text node so this text node is nothing but data carriage so here you will be able to see the data so this is the thing which i want to tell you and and if you try to see here that uh, comment and all those things leave it so this one is data code injected by the live server these are all the comment you see this one is the text so these are all created by the live server so this is how we can check what i want to tell you is this is how we can check all the nodes which we have discussed earlier so the dom creates every character as a part of the dom tree i have already explained you so if you want to check it in the dev tools so those are all available in the child nodes for an element node so for any element node if you want to check all its child nodes then you can use head of zero dot child nodes then it will display you all the nodes that are existing so now we are able to see all the things like spaces enter so whatever the thing whatever the content we are having in the chain in the in the no in the elements we are able to see not only for this head so we are able to see all those things if you have a body and all those things also for all those things also it will be created so this is how this is how we can check the node list okay the complete node list for an element node this is how we will be checking using the dot child nodes property hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you